Hello, my name is BGM Fan. I'm a math teacher. I like to make math easier and intuitive for children. Today's subject is on abacus. Why abacus? Well, English language hinders children in number development, counting, and arithmetic. Abacus visualizes the numbers and bypasses the linguistic hindrance. Here's why. Our numeral system is organized in a base ten structure and recurring pattern. Ten rows and ten columns get you to ninety-nine. There are only ten single-digit numbers, zero to nine. Other numbers are just combination of those ten numbers. Number zero to nine in the first row recur in every row in the ones digit. In the first column, number one to nine. Recur in every column in the tens digit. Children learn numbers through words, but the English words for tens are problematic. Unlike numbers, words one to nine recur in every row except the second. Words in first column except ten recur in every column. The tens in particular. Form a block that stumbled our kids because they're inconsistent with a regular number pattern. In Asian languages such as Chinese, the words ten one, ten two to ten nine are consistent with the regular pattern of numbers. The regularity is intuitive for children to grasp. One remedy is to teach our kids the regular words first, like the Chinese words. After they conceptualize these words, teach English words as nickname. The nickname for ten one is eleven. The nickname for ten two is twelve, and so forth, until the nickname for ten nine is nineteen. The regular words reveal the base ten structure and the recurring pattern. The nicknames. Would fit in the daily life. Here are several number misconceptions due to irregular words. It is common for children to write fourteen as forty-one because of phonetics. Four comes first, and ten is second. Besides the sequence, it's confusing to translate a ten into a concrete number. Children often perceive twelve as a single-digit number. Because it is one word, this is a common misconception. Asian kids rarely make the same mistake because ten two are two words, which naturally translate into two places or two digits. As kids grow into addition, it is common for them to perceive twelve as a one-digit number because it is one word. They often struggle in learning how to make ten for carry. For Asian kids, ten two are two words. It's intuitive for them to think two places, so make ten for carry comes naturally for them. They are two years ahead of our kids in learning make ten strategy. Language is the root cause. Abacus visualizes numbers. The columns represents the digits. The first column from the right is the ones digit. The second. Is the tens digit, the third is the hundred digits, and so on. This arrangement conforms to our numeral system. There are five beads on a rod. Each upper bead represents a value of five. Each lower bead represents a value of one. The horizontal bead is a counting bead. Beads are counted when they touch the counting bead. Right now, no bead touches the bead. All columns are zeros. The upper bead's five is like a tally mark, which makes counting easier. Juggling ten numbers is difficult. Abacus uses five beads to represent ten numbers in every column. The upper bead also develops number relations. Five and one make six. Five and two. Make seven, five and three make eight, five and four make nine. Let's count to twenty. One, 
two, three, four. The lower beats are used up. Let's move up to the upper beat. Clear the four lower beats and move down the upper beat. This is five. Continue. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now all beats are used up in this column. We have to move to the next column. Clear all the beats in this column. Move on to the next column. Ten. Next, repeat on the first column. Ten one or eleven. Ten two or twelve. Ten three. Ten four. Clear four for five. Ten five or fifteen. Ten six. Ten seven. Ten eight. Ten nine. All beats are used up in this column. Move on to the next column. Clear all beats. S ten to the next column. That's twenty. What is this number? That's twenty five. How about this one? Five and two is seven. That's a seventy five. Next number. That's a one hundred and seventy five. This is how abacus is played. Abacus is very helpful for children in number development. For example, as we count from nine to ten, one's column would max out the beats. We have to move to the left column for ten. This beat play visualizes ten as a leap from single digit to double digit. It conceptualizes base ten structure. For eleven, the beats display a relation. To ten and one. This would help our kids in particular to make sense of teens and their relations to ten. Though eleven is one word, the beats are displayed in two places or two digits. The left beat represents a value of ten. The right beat represents a value of one. One beat may represent a different value depending on its place. This is the place value visualized on abacus. For teens, number zero to nine recurs in the right column. This recurring pattern is visualized explicitly, which conforms to our numeral system. Abacus is a visual learning, which bypasses the English irregularity. Abacus is a great toy for children. It gives them a leg up in math development. Thank you.